Okay, we're carrying on. We're doing the uh, the right hitting tiger, hitting tiger right this time. It's slightly different. Well, it is greatly different actually than, than the way we do the left side. So we finish the left side here with that around movement. Now you just take the sword in your hand and just let it go across like so. <coughs> As you do that, you turn your left foot 90 degrees to the right, thus giving you a, a pigeon-toed stance. See where the sword's pointing straight out here to the north. And we do a back fist, as well as, see how I'm opening my chest, causing the sword to be pumped out. <laughs> like so. Uh, ben? We're getting a person just coming in without a sword, just coming in to attack me from the rear here. We just finished beating this without a sword. That means you put the sword down and, and you come in with, with your hands <laughs> from this side here. So we finish this person. Ben's coming in from there. Someone else is coming in from over here with an attack. Just come in, Ben. What? See what I've done? Oh, you can't see, but that's what I'm doing. Straight into the neck with that one. As he's coming in from the other side, he might be coming in with his sword with a downward shot if you if you if you wish. So we've done bang with that one, coming down there. Wah. Pow. That's what we're doing. Or it could be an empty handed shot there as well. Just come in, just come rushing in. Wah. That's what we've done there. As soon as I finish that one, I take the sword and Thanks, Ben. Well, it could have been a sword. As he's coming down with a sword, of course, that could have been... Wah! Wah! Could have to chop his arm, of course. Thank you, Ben. And that happens like this. So we're here. It goes... <coughs> See how I moved my feet around as well? There's a slight jump around so that the feet are now parallel, facing into whatever that corner is back there, north. East, west, southwest corner. The feet are pointing into the southwest corner, but the action's going down here to the west. So from here, I'll just do it slowly again. Bang! See that? Bang! You don't move your feet. Your feet are actually power. Sorry, your feet are actually uh, pigeon-toed into this uh, southeast corner. It's not until you do this next move that your feet actually turn. So that's what it looks like from here. You come, you come. <coughs> the weight's back on your back leg for that one. Okay, now we have the movement, all the sleeves dancing like plum blossoms. Exactly the same as in the old Yang style. But you mustn't do it like this. I'll, I'll, I won't do the swords for a minute. Or well, maybe I will do the sword. You mustn't go one, two, saving yourself. There must be a jolt here. It's for the health reasons, as I said before on the basic tape. So from here, I'll just do the move, actually. Now, got to be really careful with this, especially doing it inside your house or something. You're going to put holes in your roof, of course, and break lights. Thank you, Eli. Okay, I just had to take my scarf off to reposition my microphone there. So, you must hear this. I don't know if you can hear this, but you must hear. Can you hear that? Just have a listen. No, no. It's, it, you must hear the, the wind going through the sword, in other words. And you've got to angle it downwards. If I do it this way, like that, and it comes up. and straight down, straight down through the head. So it's got to come down like that. See it's an angle down. <coughs> it's a two-handed thrust there to finish with, indicating what the old Yang style does. Bang, bang, when they do the two punches there. So I can't do the, really do this slowly, so I just come around. Bang, keep in mind I'm going back that way. <coughs> so the other right hand just has to come in on top like that. And you do it. Bah! Sort of pushing yourself backwards and there must be that on the tip of the sword. Bah! 
as you finish it. Show you what you're doing there. Okay, Ben. Just coming down with a low slice into here. Or you could be blocking the sword, that's why it's at an angle, you see? So as it comes in, that'll knock your sword out of the way. I'm leaping around in the air. I can't really do this, but anyway. Okay, so I'm in the air now. I'm bringing a step forward and what straight down through the head just to make sure bah, straight into CV14 thank you Ben I just do that move again because it is quite a difficult move Bam. <laughs> notice how the feet have to land they look as if they're landing together you must feel a jolt going up through your body but they're landing da 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 See if you can hear the feet when they land. See, see the feet, because they won't be exactly together, you see. You see? And bah! At the end of it, yeah, I actually hit the floor then because I was concentrating on what my feet were doing. But you've got to be wary of that. Another reason to keep it there, like that, rather than down like that, of course. This is where you have to leap into the air and do the snake creeps down move okay I'm going that way I'll, I'll change to, the, to show you what way I'm going in a minute all you got to do here is just get as high off the ground as you can possibly get with that movement as you're coming down you bring your sword over like this and your foot kicks out to the rear. It's not just a placing of the foot, it's a bah! and wreck a thousand dollar microphone. <laughs> Have you still got sound there? Yeah. Okay. I just uh, put it in my pocket I think. But it's got to be a kick, you see, it's not just got to be a like a nice steady snake creeps down movement, you see. It's got to be a, wow, a kick out with that foot. I'll show you why, Ben. So we've just come through with this one. Another attack is coming through maybe with a slice. Wow, straight through the wrist, knocking his sword away. Or he could even be coming through with a kick to my legs as he does that sword. Wow, which is why I'm leaping in the air, you see? Or he could have come down with a slice to my feet as I did to him just then, which is why I leap in the air, of course. A lower one, Ben, I'm not that good at leaping. <laughs> See? And as I come down, of course, I've pow, into his leg and then whoa, straight up the middle here, or straight up his arm. That's what we've done there. Okay, thank you, Ben. I'll just do that movement again. I'll do it uh, this way so you can see what I'm doing. So we've just done bang. Comes over like this, see the angle at it, just in case you do have to block the stick. I'm in the air now. And as I come down, I come down like this and pow, kick out and that's the angle that I've let down as low as you can. I'll just show you the next movements. There are two more movements that weren't on the basic tape. Notice the position, positioning of the feet each time I do that. They sort of change to represent what you do in those low movements when you're doing the old yang style movements. I'll show you why you're doing those movements. Uh, just come whilst I'm down here, you see. I've just done this to the opponent over here. He's coming with a downward shot here. Well, I move out of the way of it, see. Turn my heel out to move to get a better position. Blocking his stick or taking his arm up here. And then as I go down, you, you, you would keep moving in, of course. Oh, sorry, this hand's in here, isn't it? Yeah, hang on. Bah! That's right, the hand's in there. To start with, see? What? There's the block or the cut. Wah! And I go down. He's coming in the other side, just with a run in attack from the other side whilst I'm down here. I change my weight to get away from it, of course. Get a better position and wah! Or wah! Straight in to the leg.